Hello students, my name is Neeti Seed and thanks for watching Edvedia Word videos. My topic for the presentation is fourth section of the chapter Plant Growth and Development. In this section of the video, we will discuss about the differentiation, de-differentiation and re-differentiation students. As we know students that plants, plants they are multicellular eukaryotes with tissue system made of various cell types that carry out specific functions. I have already taught you that plant tissue is of two types. It falls into one of two general types. First is meristematic cells or tissue and Another is permanent tissue which we call it as non-meristematic tissue. We very well know that cells of the meristematic tissue they are found in meristem which are plant regions of continuous cell division and growth such as shoot apical meristem and root apical meristem which is found below the ground students. Meristematic tissue cells they are either undifferentiated or incompletely differentiated. That's why they continue to divide and contribute to the growth of the plant. That's why this plant grows because of the continuous cell division. Because of the presence of the meristem cells which are present in the shoot apex. So you can say that meristematic cells are the cells which keep on dividing and thus they contribute to the growth of the plant. In contrast, permanent tissue consists of plant cells. They are no longer actively dividing cells, students. Okay? Differentiation. What it is? Differentiation, you can say that the cells which are derived from root apical and shoot apical meristem and cambium, they differentiate and they mature to perform a specific functions, students, which we term as differentiation. During differentiation cells, they undergo few to major structural changes both in their cell wall and protoplasm. See, this is the meristem cells that keep on dividing and thus it contributes to the plant growth and development. So, this is the meristem cell which is present in the leaf cell also and root cell also. That's why it is present in the root apex. So during differentiation, cells they undergo few to major structural changes both in their cell wall and protoplasm. For example, to form tracheary element, the cells would lose their protoplasm. Okay, they also develop a very strong elastic lignocellulosic uh, secondary cell wall to carry out water to long distances even under extreme tension. Even if a uh, plant is under extreme tension, so plant it adapts or it forms uh, a strong elastic lignocellulosic secondary cell wall to carry water to the long distances. This is an adaptation. So this was about the differentiation. You can correlate the various anatomical features you encountered in plants to the function they perform. Plants show another interesting phenomena and which we call it as de-differentiation. So let's proceed towards the topic de-differentiation. What it is? The living differentiated cells that by now have lost the capacity to divide can regain the capacity of division under certain conditions which we call it as de-differentiation. I repeat, the living differentiated cells that by now have lost the capacity to divide can regain the capacity of division under certain conditions. This phenomena is termed as de-differentiation students. For example, formation of meristem that is interfascicular cambium and cocambium from fully differentiated parenchyma cells. Uh, example of de-differentiation. This is the epidermis. This is the main portion is cortex. This is fascicular cambium. This black line is fascicular cambium. Between two fascicular cambium, distance between is known as interfascicular cambium. 
this is primary xylem which is represented by pink color and this blue color is represented uh, to primary phloem okay and this uh, central portion is pit interfascicular cambium plus fascicular cambium together we call it as vascular cambium so the formation of meristem that is interfascicular cambium and core cambium from differentiated parenchyma cells is the example of d differentiation see this is a shoot apex which uh, we have taken the ts uh, or the transverse section to see the zoomer view of it this is the epidermis this is the cortex this is primary phloem which uh, conducts uh, mineral okay and this is vascular cambium which is represented by this uh, green color and this is primary xylem which is represented by brown color and this central portion is pith okay so growth takes place uh, in the downward area also and in the upward area also this is how it takes see growth is taking place in the upper area okay which is shown by two arrows d differentiation you can say that uh, it is another interesting phenomena in which the living differentiated cells uh, which have now lost the capacity to divide can regain the capacity of division under certain conditions which we call it as d differentiation while doing so such meristem or tissue they are able to divide and produce cells that once again lose the capacity to divide and mature to perform certain or a specific function that's we call it as redifferentiation so let's see what redifferentiation is as i told you that uh, d differentiated cells they can produce cells that again lose the capacity to divide but mature to perform a specific function which we call it as redifferentiation students re means again okay that means it has again lost the capacity to divide but they mature to perform a specific function which we call it as redifferentiation plant growth is open that is it can be indeterminate or determinate differentiation is also open because cells and tissue they arise out of same meristem they have different structures at maturity see this is uh differentiation which is taking place here when uh, it is induced by internal or external signal then it get de differentiated okay or a stem cell like state which we also call it as transient space and in later stages it redifferentiates or it just loses the capacity to divide but it matures to perform a specific function which we call it as redifferentiation or trans differentiation now this de differentiated cell it goes to the cell cycle and some of the cells it goes to the cell die state okay so plant growth is open that is it can be indeterminate or determinant differentiation is also open because cells or tissue arising out of same meristem they have different structures at maturity final structure at maturity of cell is also determined by the location of cell i mean where it is present list some of the tissues in woody dicotyledonous plant that are products of redifferentiation how would you describe a tumor students what would you call the parenchyma cells that are made to divide under controlled laboratory conditions during plant tissue culture i have already taught you that plant growth or growth in plant is open that is it can be indeterminate or determinant now we can say that even differentiation in plant is open because cells and tissue arising out of same meristem they have different structures at maturity the final structure at the maturity is also determined by the location of the cell for example cell positioned away from the root apical meristem differentiated as root cap cells while those pushed to the periphery mature as epidermis so this was about redifferentiation what we have 
studied so far differentiation de differentiation and re differentiation what we have studied in differentiation students the cell derived from the root apical and shoot apical meristem and cambium they differentiate and they mature to perform specific function this act leads to maturation which we call it as differentiation students now what is de differentiation students it is another interesting phenomena in which the living differentiated cells which have now lost the capacity to divide can regain the capacity of division under certain conditions which we call it as de differentiation and now what is re differentiation the de differentiated cells which we study just now can produce cells that again lose the capacity to divide but they mature to perform a specific function which we call it as re differentiation so this was all about de differentiation differentiation and re differentiation in my next section of the presentation we will study about the plant development and plant growth regulators so till then stay tuned and keep watching edupedia word videos thank you